Titanic. 25 years later. 1997 versus 2022. Titanic is a 1997 American epic romance and disaster film directed, written, produced, and co-edited by James Cameron. Incorporating both historical and fictionalized aspects, it is based on accounts of the sinking of the RMS Titanic, and stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet as members of different social classes who fall in love aboard the ship during its ill-fated maiden voyage. Also starring are Billy Zane, Kathy Bates, Francis Fisher, Gloria Stewart, Bernard Hill, Jonathan Hyde, Victor Garber, and Bill Paxton. Upon its release on December 19, 1997, Titanic achieved significant critical and commercial success, and then received numerous accolades. Nominated for 14 Academy Awards, it tied All About Eve for the most Oscar nominations, and won 11, including the awards for Best Picture and Best Director, tying Ben-Hur for the most Oscars won by a single film. Next, we are going to review the characters of the movie and how the actors who played them are now. But first, please subscribe, it's free and you help us a lot, thank you very much. Leonardo DiCaprio as Jack Dawson Jack is portrayed as an itinerant, poor orphan from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, who has traveled the world, including Paris. He wins two third-class tickets for the Titanic in a poker game and travels with his friend Fabrizio. He is attracted to Rose at first sight. Her fiancé's invitation to dine with them the next evening enables Jack to mix with the first-class passengers for a night. Kate Winslet as Rose DeWitt Bucator Rose is a 17-year-old girl, originally from Philadelphia, who is forced into an engagement to 30-year-old Cal Hockley so she and her mother, Ruth, can maintain their high-class status after her father's death had left the family debt-ridden. Rose boards the RMS Titanic with Cal and Ruth, as a first-class passenger, and meets Jack. Billy Zane as Caledon Hockley Caledon is Rose's arrogant and snobbish 30-year-old fiancé, who is the heir to a Pittsburgh steel fortune. He becomes increasingly embarrassed by, jealous of, and cruel about Rose's affection for Jack. Frances Fisher as Ruth DeWitt Bucator Rose's widowed mother, who arranges her daughter's engagement to Cal to maintain her family's high society status. Like many aristocratic passengers portrayed in the film, her disposition is elitist and frivolous. She loves her daughter but believes that social position is more important than having a loving marriage. She strongly dislikes Jack, even though he saved her daughter's life. Gloria Stewart as Rose Dawson Calvert Rose narrates the film in a modern-day framing device. The 100-year-old Rose gives Lovett information regarding the heart of the ocean after he discovers a nude drawing of her in the wreck. She shares the story of her time aboard the ship, and speaks about her relationship with Jack for the first time since the sinking. At 87, Stewart had to be made up to look older for the role. Bill Paxton as Brock Lovett A treasure hunter looking for the heart of the ocean in the wreck of the Titanic in the present. Time and funding for his expedition are running out. He later reflects at the film's conclusion that, despite thinking about Titanic for three years, he has never understood it until he hears Rose's story. Susie Amos as Lizzie Calvert Rose's granddaughter, who accompanies her when she visits Lovett on the ship and learns of her grandmother's romantic past with Jack Dawson. Danny Nucci as Fabrizio Jack's Italian best friend, who boards the RMS Titanic with him after Jack wins two tickets in a poker game. Fabrizio does not board a lifeboat when the Titanic sinks and is killed when one of the ship's funnels breaks and crashes into the water, crushing him and several other passengers to death. David Warner as Spicer Lovejoy, an ex-Pinkerton constable, Lovejoy is Cal's English valet and bodyguard, who keeps an eye on Rose and is suspicious about the circumstances surrounding Jack rescuing her. He dies when the Titanic splits in half, 
causing him to fall into a massive opening. Jason Berry as Tommy Ryan, an Irish third-class passenger who befriends Jack and Fabrizio. Tommy is killed when he is accidentally pushed forward and shot by a panicked first officer Murdoch. Kathy Bates as Margaret, Molly, Brown. Brown is looked down upon by other first-class women, including Ruth, as, vulgar, and, new money. She is friendly to Jack and lends him a suit of evening clothes when he is invited to dinner in the first-class dining saloon. Victor Garber as Thomas Andrews. The ship's builder, Andrews is portrayed as a kind, decent man who is modest about his grand achievement. After the collision, he tries to convince the others, particularly Ismay, that it is a mathematical certainty that the ship will sink. He is depicted during the sinking of the ship as standing next to the clock in the first-class smoking room, lamenting his failure to build a strong and safe ship. Bernard Hill as Captain Edward John Smith Smith planned to make the Titanic his final voyage before retiring. He retreats into the wheelhouse on the bridge as the ship sinks, dying when the windows implode from the water whilst he clings to the ship's wheel. There are conflicting accounts as to whether he died in this manner or later froze to death in the water near the capsized collapsible lifeboat, B. Jonathan Hyde as J. Bruce Ismay White Star Line's ignorant, boorish managing director, who influences Captain Smith to go faster with the prospect of an earlier arrival in New York and favorable press attention, while this action appears in popular portrayals of the disaster, it is unsupported by evidence. Eric Braden as John Jacob Astor IV, a first-class passenger whom Rose calls the richest man on the ship. The film depicts Astor and his 18-year-old wife Madeline as being introduced to Jack by Rose in the first-class dining saloon. During the introduction, Astor asks if Jack is connected to the Boston Dawsons, a question Jack deflects by saying that he is instead affiliated with the Chippewa Falls Dawsons. Astor is last seen as the grand staircase glass dome implodes and water surges in. Bernard Fox as Colonel Archibald Gracie IV, the film depicts Gracie making a comment to Cal that women and machinery don't mix, and congratulating Jack for saving Rose from falling off the ship, though he is unaware that it was a suicide attempt. He is later seen offering to lead Jack and Rose to the remaining lifeboats during the sinking. Michael Ensign as Benjamin Guggenheim A mining magnate traveling in first class. He shows off his French mistress Madame Aubert to his fellow passengers while his wife and three daughters wait for him at home. When Jack joins the other first class passengers for dinner after his rescue of Rose, Guggenheim refers to him as a bohemian. He is seen in the flooding grand staircase during the sinking, saying he is prepared to go down as a gentleman. Jonathan Evans Jones as Wallace Hartley, the ship's bandmaster and violinist who plays uplifting music with his colleagues on the boat deck as the ship sinks. As the final plunge begins, he leads the band in a final performance of Mirror, My God, To Thee, To the Tune of Bethany, and dies in the sinking. Mark Lindsay Chapman as Chief Officer Henry Wilde, the ship's chief officer, who lets Cal on board a lifeboat because he has a child in his arms. Before he dies, he tries to get the boats to return to the sinking site to rescue passengers by blowing his whistle. After he freezes to death, Rose uses his whistle to attract the attention of 5th Officer Lowe, which leads to her rescue. Ewan Stewart as 1st Officer William Murdoch, the officer who is put in charge of the bridge on the night the ship struck the iceberg. During a rush for the lifeboats, Murdoch shoots Tommy Ryan, as well as another passenger, in a momentary panic, then commits suicide by shooting himself in the head. Jonathan Phillips as second officer Charles Lightoller. Lightoller took charge of the port side evacuation. The film depicts Lightoller informing Captain Smith that it will be difficult to see icebergs without breaking water, and following the collision, suggesting the crew should begin boarding women and children to the lifeboats. Simon Crane as 4th Officer Joseph Boxhall The officer in charge of firing flares and manning lifeboat 2 during the sinking. He is shown on the bridge wings helping the seamen firing the flares. 
Yoan Griffith as fifth officer Harold Lowe. The ship's only officer to lead a lifeboat to retrieve survivors of the sinking from the icy waters. The film depicts Lowe rescuing Rose. Edward Fletcher as sixth officer James Moody. The ship's only junior officer to have died in the sinking. The film depicts Moody admitting Jack and Fabrizio onto the ship only moments before it departs from Southampton. Moody is later shown following Mr. Murdoch's orders to put the ship to full speed ahead, and informs First Officer Murdoch about the iceberg. James Lancaster as Father Thomas Biles Second-class passenger Father Biles, a Catholic priest from England, is portrayed praying and consoling passengers during the ship's final moments. Lou Palter and Elsa Raven as Isidore Strauss and Ida Strauss. Isidore is a former owner of R.H. Macy & Company, a former congressman from New York, and a member of the New York and New Jersey Bridge Commission. During the sinking, his wife Ida is offered a place in a lifeboat, but refuses, saying that she will honor her wedding pledge by staying with Isidore. They are last seen lying on their bed embracing each other as water fills their stateroom. Martin Jarvis as Sir Cosmo Duff Gordon. A Scottish baronet who is rescued in Lifeboat 1. Lifeboats 1 and 2 were emergency boats with a capacity of 40. Situated at the forward end of the boat deck, these were kept ready to launch in case of a person falling overboard. On the night of the disaster, Lifeboat 1 was the fourth to be launched, with 12 people aboard, including Duff Gordon, his wife and her secretary. The baronet was much criticized for his conduct during the incident. Rosalind Ayres as Lady Duff Gordon, a world-famous fashion designer and Sir Cosmo's wife. She is rescued in lifeboat one with her husband. They never lived down rumors that they had forbidden the lifeboat's crew to return to the wreck site in case they would be swamped. Rochelle Rose as Noel Leslie, Countess of Roths. The Countess is shown to be friendly with Cal and the DeWitt Bucaters. Despite being of a higher status in society than Sir Cosmo and Lady Duff Gordon, she is kind, and helps row the boat and even looks after the steerage passengers. Scott G. Anderson as Frederick Fleet The lookout who saw the iceberg Fleet escapes the sinking ship aboard lifeboat 6. Paul Brightwell as quartermaster Robert Hickens. One of the ship's six quartermasters and at the ship's wheel at the time of collision. He is in charge of lifeboat 6. He refuses to go back and pick up survivors after the sinking and eventually the boat is commandeered by Molly Brown. Martin East as Reginald Lee. The other lookout in the crow's nest. He survives the sinking. Gregory Cook as Jack Phillips, senior wireless operator on board the Titanic whom Captain Smith ordered to send the distress signal. Craig Kelly as Harold Bride, junior wireless operator on board the Titanic. Liam Tui as Chief Baker Charles Juffin. The baker appears in the film helping Rose stand up after she falls, following her and Jack to the ship's stern, and finally hanging onto the ship's railing as it sinks, drinking brandy from a flask. According to the real Juffin's testimony, he rode the ship down and stepped into the water without getting his hair wet. He also admitted to hardly feeling the cold, most likely thanks to alcohol. And finally, Terry Forrestal as Chief Engineer Joseph G. Bell. Bell and his men worked until the last minute to keep the lights and the power on in order for distress signals to get out. Bell and all of the engineers died in the bowels of the Titanic. That's it for this video. Remember, 
Please subscribe and like it. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.